Hi, Lee Touchton, 610 Mac Drive. Um, I understand you're in the process of looking at your applicants for the new executive director. Um, I don't know if you've already got a staff of candidates and you're interviewing them. That wasn't clear to me. Um, but if you are looking at the applicants and wanting to make a decision, I want to share with you something that happened between me and Brad Lofton that I haven't brought before you before, but I've shared with other people in the community. Um, a local uh, contractor named Lindsay Mobley was meeting with Brad Lofton um, when Brad Lofton was having minority contractors meet with him. And I don't know what was said at these meetings. I've seen some video, but I couldn't understand everything that was said. But when I asked for an open records request to get a list of the contractors, it was very contentious. And um, one of the contractors got very upset and sent Brad Lofton an email. And he said that he would have less chance dying if he joined the KKK than if he joined the NAACP under my leadership. Um, he sent that to Brad Lofton, and Brad Lofton hit reply all, and it went to several local officials here, as well as some people in the state legislature, and I believe several of the Wiregrass Power people. Um, I'm not the type of person that goes around suing for personal gain. I wouldn't gain anything from Lindsey Mobley. He doesn't have much that I could recoup from going after him for slander. But um, I was very disappointed that Brad Lofton didn't read the email thoroughly, and he felt that he could just hit reply all. And the thing that really, really got to me was Mr. Lofton didn't just hit reply all. He said, thank you. I look forward to partnering with you. And then he said something to the effect of, it's a real shame that the NAACP doesn't want to bring jobs to minority contractors. Now, I know you guys know a lot about the NAACP. We're 102 years old, and the main thing we do is fight for equality, and certainly we want to bring jobs to the minority community. Um, I've been down to the VSEP program several times, Mr. Copeland. I understand you've talked to Mr. Porterman about this. I've taken men through there, and I've signed them up, and I've taken them over to the Valdosta Housing Authority. That's part of the work that we do. Um, so this is ongoing with the NAACP. We never want to deny minority contractors a job, but we do feel that the health of the community is way more important than a job. And this is not just me, Lee Touchton, saying it. This is my grant saying it. And furthermore, it's my state conference saying it. That's the state organization and they went on record opposing the biomass plant here, the biomass plant in Lithonia, the biomass plant in Port St. Joe. It's been opposed by the Florida NAACP because the community that is most affected is the minority community. So I know you've all heard that before because I was in here before with the letter from, uh, with the article from Robert Fuller about what is called environmental racism. But I did want to bring to your attention that I hope your new person in the executive director position reads his emails carefully before he sends out something that refers to me or my organization as the KKK and then has somebody saying they would have less chance dying in the KKK than if they joined my organization. And I know you've got two attorneys here that can probably explain to you that that kind of thing is just not acceptable to be put in lightly. So thank you for letting me speak to you tonight, and I hope when you get your minute situation resolved that this will not be part of the public record. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Mr. Porterman?